Man. Didn't clean the pain away, but... That felt good. You look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel? This country is just way too big. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. Be right back. <sighs> we'll find out. Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Yay. Technology. She came prepared. The Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Looks like a roach motel. But nobody will find me there. So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. Kinda pretty. Wonder if she made it. I know I shouldn't peek, but... Whatever. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Glad to know she learned the lesson. Damn. Karen does like to capture the world around her. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Damn. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. This place is quite remote. 
good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. I got a few moments to myself, so let's practice. I wonder who lives around here. It's so wild and huge. Okay, just draw now. Don't think about anything else. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. I could see myself stopping by this motel during a road trip. <laughs> Taking a dip in the pool after a long ride. <sighs> These mountains really inspire me. <sighs> All right, back to reality, dude. I'm not going out. Better wait for Karen in here. At least Daniel's alive. But he seemed... To... Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How are you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion, right? That'll do. <clears throat> Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? We just got lucky and got some help along the way. Total strangers. We even had our own little family. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? 
You know I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did. And why. If you care. So, ask me anything. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah. Okay. Think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. Oh, please. It's too fucking late for that shit. No matter what, you left your own kids and my dad. So don't even... I know it's too late. I just... I want you to know how I feel. Yeah. I still don't care. Jeez. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens.
So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams, and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people, and I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world, with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. Well, that's your loss. I don't expect you to believe me. But I mean it. I mean... I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Cool plan, Mom. You hurt Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel. Someday. I could start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. It's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. 
I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much, but when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And I would just look up at the sky and watch the stars. Or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend, Lila. Sitting on the porch. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. <laughs> Shut the hell up and watch the universe do its own thing. We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did, but this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know it's still hard, but yes, we have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Yes. Thanks. So... You feel like telling me the story here? When we have time. Gotcha. Here, try this on. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. 